Okay, so um, what I want to do is we got the back in place here, and <clears throat> I'm going to do the arms. And for the arms, traditionally, I like to do something relatively simple. Okay, so you could do I care, okay, for the arms. Remember, you could just animate the rotation of the joints. You really thought about it. Ooh, I got some waiting issues here. Um, Actually, if I want to get rid of those waiting issues right away, let's see if I just went over here and I grab this and... Come on, you bastard! Oh, did I put this on to... Okay, there, there, there. Okay, if I go in here and I grab some vertices, these ones that are kind of flowing a little bit on the funny side. If I just go in, I'm going to hit them with rigging. I'm going to go here to skin and hammer the skin weights, and that fixed them all. Okay, I just check this. Whoop. Everything's good. Oh, there's a little one over there wrong, but whatever. Assume preferred angle. Boink. Okay. So, um, simple, simple. Um, I'm going to do an IK arm rig. A simple IK arm rig. And again, you can animate the bones if you want to. If I go in here to skeleton and I create an IK handle, and I go from the shoulder all the way to the wrist. Let me just check that out and make sure it works. Actually, you know what? I screwed up. Awesome. Nice to screw up in a video. It went actually to the base of the thumb here, so I gotta do that again. Shoulder to the wrist. Got it. Okay. And then, this is also the reason I have a palm bone in here. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that. There's the icon is there. I can hit it again so I can go from there to there. Great. I went from the wrist to the palm bone. Okay. And this gives me the ability to move my hand around. Then, what I'm going to do is let's quickly name these things. So this is like my wrist. IK. And this I'll call it my palm IK. Great. And I can parent this one to that one. Okay. Um, and let's see what else I need. I need some kind of controller here. Let's look at it from the top view. Something that looks like my hand. So what do I went in here to create? Uh, CV curve tool, CV curve tool here. And I'll just draw something that looks roughly the shape of my hand. Like a big oven mitt. Or a baseball mitt. Or a... Mitt. Okay, great. Um, let's go here to show. And you'll see it's sitting down here on the ground. Just gonna pick it up and put it somewhere around my hand. Okay, great. And let's hide this, and I'll just hold down D and V, and if I middle click, I can wiggle it and boink, it'll pop right over here. My pivot point is now sitting right there. And I'm just gonna freeze the transformations. There is no history, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm just gonna call this thing Hand Control. Wonderful. Um, so, this hand control, if I select the hand control, select the wrist control, and I go into constraint, I'm going to put a parent constraint on it. So that means that whenever I grab this thing and move it, it will follow along. Wonderful! Okay, um, let's see, the next thing I need, I need some kind of elbow control. So here, let's go to the right view for a second. And I'm just going to go in here to the crate, and I'm going to use the EP curve tool. My elbow's over here, so I'm just going to go and do something like this. Okay, and if I hold down V while I'm doing this, boink! There we go, great. Enter. Center me pivots and modify. Oh, I have it over here, so I'm just going to middle click and move that over here. I always like them side by side, or freeze transformation, center pivot, or kind of side by side in my brain. Okay, there's my elbow, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'll hold down V, thunk, pop it there, and then I'll move it back. And I'm going to go ahead and freeze the transformations on that, and that is elbow control. Great. Um, and what I'm going to do with the elbow control is I hold down shift and I select the wrist IK, and I go into constrain, I give it a pull vector. There we go. And so now this controls where my elbow points. Okay, next thing. Typically, my little ulna here is going to rotate 
whenever I rotate the x-axis here, okay? Um, or actually, just hold on a second, it, it's actually going to rotate when I rotate this x-axis right here. Okay, and actually the x-axis, I'm having trouble selecting it. Oh, and it's because i got an eye candle, it's locking it, okay, cool. Well, but whenever I rotate this, you're going to see that the x-axis is going to rotate here, and I'd like that to go and translate into this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go into Window, and if I go into General Editors, Connection Editor, la 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 la, and I grab my wrist, reload it, Okay, and I happen to know it's the x-axis pointing down this way. Cool. And I'm going to select the ulna, and I'm going to go and put it over here. And if I go running down here to... What am I looking for? I'm looking for rotate. And it's going to be a rotate x in my case here. Okay, great. And then I go down here and I find rotate. And I hook up the rotate x there. Wonderful. So now when I rotate this and then we take a look at this joint we see that it's rotated in the x-axis 63 degrees. This one is also rotated 63 degrees. We could also tone that down. We can adjust it in either the weighting or we could actually turn it into an expression. But this is the easiest way and then just check the weighting. Okay. <sighs> That's done. Um, let's just zero that puppy out. Right. Um, there is a slight, uh, slight bit of weird give on this too because I didn't line up the axes on the two exactly because I'm trying to keep it simple. Okay, then the next thing we got to worry about on this hand control is we don't have quick control over our fingers. And I really want quick control over my fingers. I like it when I can grab my hand control and move all my fingers or control them all right here. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to uh, go and first off, let's just go here to modify, uh, add attribute, boop. Okay, and long name, we're going to call this one index. And minimum, I always like negative 10, 10, 0. Add. If you hit, if you hit add, that keeps the window open so you can put in more middle. Oh, Mjodl. Negative 10, 10, 0. Add. Ring, ring finger. Negative 10, 10, 0, add. And pinky. And minimum, negative 10, 10, 0. And we can put in the thumb too. And minimum. The thumb is actually something I need to actually break up a bit more, but uh, it, I'm just going to keep it simple. So I'm going to keep it kind of, uh, I won't go in and do a ton of work on that. And I think that should be good. Okay, so then I'm going to go and do window, and I'll go in here to the. Oh crap. Uh, it's over in the animation section. Freaking hate this. Key. Set driven key. Boop, there. Okay, and it shows up loaded in the driven. I meant to load it as the driver. Great. And I'm going to try and do this one a bit on the tricky fast side. Okay, this time around I'm going to grab the index joints that I'm going to need. This one, this one, and this one. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, hand control. We were, Actually, these are the driven. I'm going to load driven. So I've actually put these three joints into the driven at once. And I can happen to see, I can see the green is is pointing off in the negative Z direction, okay? So the green, that's actually your Y axis. So I know that in this case here is rotate Y. If I key that, I can keyframe all of them at once. Then I can take this finger and I'm just gonna go here to index and we'll adjust index to 10. We'll say that when it's doing a positive rotation, that's going in and making a fist, that's positive. Um, then I can grab these joints and we can go in here and I can arrange them and oh that looks good there yeah that one's good and then this one and yes yeah, so we make a good fist the great thing about fists you can use them over and over and over again ha 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 um and so I've got them all selected here 
they're rotate wise. I'll hit key and let's go ahead and check index from 10 down to zero. Yay! And then I can also, like, you know, if you fall off your skateboard and you try to hold out your hand to help yourself land and you do something like that. Awesome. No, we won't go that far back, but you know what I mean. <gasps> Key. Okay, so that's done. So now I can check out my index from negative 10 to 10. Boop, 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 boop. Again, I can adjust my weighting. All those things. Um, then I'm going to try and do this one. What time are we at? Okay, load driven. Oop. And again, I know it's a rotate Y value. This time around, it's going to be the middle finger. And then I'm going to key it. And then I take the hand control and I take my middle finger. We go down to 10. And here, I'm just going to hit if on my keyboard. Oh, you can see I got some definite waiting issues here. I'm trying to make a fist. This is actually really hard to figure out what the hell I'm doing, but I'll say that's good enough. And those are all still highlighted. Key! Done. And actually, let's go ahead and grab these two, and I'll go from there to negative. And then if I go and I select them again, you can just click and drag and select them. Oh, I guess I did that a little bit cockeyed. <laughs> okay, well, we'll say this works. Sure. <laughs> Key. And actually, let's just see what happens if I go in here and I, if I grab that joint, I say assume preferred angle, and I try out the set driven key on them just to see what it looks like. Negative 10. Okay, it actually worked out. I managed to fix it. Okay, good. Grab this one, this one, this one. And I don't know if you want to watch me do all of these. It's kind of boring. But I want to be able to basically make a fist, and I also want to be able to spread out my fingers. So that's all I'm going to do. Um, and let's see, anything else? How about this? The fact that I've already gone in and uh, I've got my elbow control and I've got my, my hand control. Um, actually, just one second. I'll pause and I'll finish. Okay, I just did my other fingers, then I realized something here. I've got to uh, note with the thumb, in this case here, it's a rotate Z in my I gotta look at these axes and make sure they're all kind of lined up right so this one here is gonna be a rotate Z for the thumb <gasps> key it and um, then when I go and I do this thumb 10 I'm just gonna go in and uh, rotate this in rotate these two and it's not gonna be a perfect fist but yeah, if it's not going to work out as a perfect fist, and I realize, you know, I need to have some other joints in here too. Maybe I'll do something like, or other rotation axes. Okay, I'll key this. Um, I can take this one, and I kind of realize that maybe it's a little bit of, uh, say, the, the Y axis. So what I'll do is um, I'll take my thumb, and let's go from 10 down to 0. Okay, and I'm just going to change the rotate Y in that key. And then I can go back here, take the thumb, and we'll go to 10. Then I'll grab that Y axis and I'll push it in. Now I got kind of a fist. Not perfect, but yeah. So I've keyed that. Okay, wonderful. And I actually might include this. So it's just going to be that. Um, and then we'll take this and we'll take thumb and go to negative 10. Grab my little rotationer tool here. Grab my joint and do something wacky. That looks like it's gonna hurt. Okay, done. Okay, so just check that out. Make sure my hands can do handy things. Boop. Oh, it looks like I didn't hit freaking key on my thumb. Um, whatever. <laughs> I'll come back to that. Or can I open it up again? Key set, driven key set. And my hand control needs to be in the driver, and then those stinking thumb pieces here. This one, that one, that one. Load is driven. Rotate Z. We're at negative 10 for the hand, right? And then if I go back here and I grab these thumb pieces and I exaggerate them back like this. And I guess I didn't have Rotate Z selected, and I guess I didn't have Thumb selected key. Done. 
Okay. So now, perfect. Okay, so now I can make this. Um, now what I can do is let's make a duplicate of this. Okay. And I'm just, uh, I'm going to hide her body for a second. And I'm just going to hold down V in my duplicate. Boop, there. And then for my hand here, I'm going to make a duplicate of the hand. And I'm going to go in and I'll just quickly uh, group it. And I'll take the group, and if I hold down J, you can flip it around to the other side. Okay, then I'm going to freeze it, and then I can just take this thing, and I've got this hand control here for the other side. I've got all those things, so I don't have to make another one. Okay, and i got to do the same thing for the other side here. And that's it for my hands right now. I think that should be good.